Hi, this time we're going to take a look at the Mozart Goblin Warrior. That's one of the three assets of the for the month of July uh, 2023. Normally goes for around $70. The folder size is exactly 1 gigabyte. Going to the overview level, we can see that the animations on the right and the models on the left. Um, the details are there even though it's uh, stylized. There are pretty much every detail even on the skin when you get close there are different outfits included and these are all modular shields and weapons uh, sword axe and staff going to the model lightning only mode to see the modeling Looking at the collision, I guess it's alright uh, for the hands, not, uh, I wouldn't say it's for VR, but uh, this model is used like convex collision, these two, but the others are just using capsules, uh, which is pretty okay. Uh, the folder structure, these are the animations, this is the maps, the materials, uh, there is an imp material instance, one master material. Taking a look at the mesh, they are all skeletal with the weapons having uh, static mesh counterparts and the textures. Dimension uh, of the textures um, 16 4K and 86 2K. That's about it. There's only two mask textures. The typical PBR. Uh, the vertices are. Uh, usually less than 5,000 uh, and with the included uh, armors being skeletal mesh and the weapons having static mesh counterparts it's worth noting that the skeleton is not the mannequin or the epic skeleton looking at the physics asset Simulated, I guess it's all right ish, doesn't jewel around much. Looking at the materials, there are I have or I haven't seen any parameters in them, just the base color, normal map, and the uh, ambient occlusion roughness metallic. Uh, for the masks of the staff, uh, the ticks, the masks are included, all oh, they're not packed, but uh, setting up, they are not set up, so you basically want to set them up, something similar to this. So let's change or apply it, okay, it's red, although uh, it's like one color, mono color, we can desaturate the base color. And then multiply that with the color we want. And then put that into the LERP. This should result in a much better gradient. Uh, this is the comparison. And setting up the other mask uh, in a similar fashion. Taking a look at the animations, this is like the attack with the staff, uh, death and idol protecting with the shield, and jumping in joy. The animations are uh, well made. There are some animations here, but I couldn't get them to work. Uh, 
Uh, and if you wonder why the weapons have the these animations, because the weapons are also part of the bone. Uh, they have their own bones in the skeleton. However, I couldn't get these to work because of the non-compatible skeleton. Even though I used one of the skeletons uh, in there, the goblin move like weapon skeleton, I couldn't get it to work. Going to the UVs, you can see many wasted areas, not wasted because there is m like multiple meshes sharing the same UVs, but most of them are, are unique uh, for the texture. This is the body, it doesn't use uh, overlapping or reusing the UVs even though it's symmetrical. And this plate armor, also the interior does have the scratches and imperfections and should have been clean. This is the staff. Uh, this weapon, yeah, it has lots of wasted uh, space. This also should be symmetrical for most parts. And these meshes, even though they are, uh, uh, they have different uh, skeleton mesh. They are typically the same, just a bit different material. So with one mesh, you can just apply different material and it's the same. Even though each one has their own unique skeleton, but I don't think there's any difference between them except for the material like I mentioned. And this is the render level, they're rotating because of the sequencer, they're animated in there. So in my humble opinion, I think the modeling is good. The animations are really great. Collision is okay. The style or the stylized uh, nature of the texturing, I think it looks good. Uh, and the, uh, especially the roughness, I really like how there is much variation in the roughness. Uh, for me, it was pretty apparent. And generally, the metal parts were really well done. I really like the modular aspect of the clothes. However, there are some downsides, and the main ones being the skeleton not being wrecked to epic skeleton, and uh, the price. I mean, the regular price of seventy dollars. I think it's a bit too much. Uh, the UVs overall uh, were not reused or overlapped, uh, with some wasted space. However, there was one that had the really well packed texture with the clothes and uh, the shield and uh, like the dagger or the sword. The UVs of the body especially were not overlapped, although they are symmetrical. Um, there are a couple of uh, mesh skim of the body meshes included, but uh, one should be enough, it's not much of a con. Uh, the interior of the chest plate armor should be clean, shouldn't have much uh, scratch compared to the outside. The leg armor was not symmetrical, maybe it's by design, so it's not much of a cone itself. The mass textures all f for the staff, although they were included, uh, they were not used, so you have to implement it yourself. And that's my thought, hope you enjoyed.